You're listening to a message from Gateway Church Geelong. We hope it blesses you. For more information about Gateway, visit gc.org.au. Well, tonight I am... Just as we come around Christmas, this is the first time we've done a Christmas Eve service. We normally do a Christmas morning service. But as we come around our Christmas Eve service and we remember Jesus, we celebrate Jesus, we talk about the birth of Christ and all the great glorious things that came from from that precious moment. I want to talk tonight about He came, about Jesus He came. We should have it up on the screen here. He came. Awesome. So if if you're... taking notes, feel free to write that down. He came. We're going to talk about Jesus and the fact that he came for all of us, that he loved us so greatly. When we think about Jesus and, with, and the way in which he came, you know, normally when a, when a superhero comes, you know that the superhero has come to town. If you think about all the comics and cartoons that you watched when you were growing up, it's like this, the superhero comes to town flying in, I'm here to save the day, but not Jesus. Not Jesus. He came quietly. He came miraculously. He came humbly and he came willingly and he came to love. It's the heart of Jesus. He came to love. He came to heal and he came to bring miracles. He came to serve and he came to redeem. He came to renew and he came to save. And lastly, he came for all. He loves everybody so much. God loves everyone so much that he sent Jesus for all. Just as we as we go through tonight, let's look to the Bible tonight. Luke 2, starting in verse 8. She says there, That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, as you would be. No street lights, little fire going, And the radiance of the Lord surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them, don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Saviour, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognise him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped in snugly, snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angel had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph and there was a baby lying in a manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what, that, what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. And all who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. The birth of Jesus. Beautiful story about the birth of Jesus. See, this night, you could just look at it and read the story. It's like, oh, isn't that great? Baby Jesus was born. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? But this night, it was a night of profound messages. Profound messages that God was actually delivering to us, His people that He loves. So it was a night that has echoed through the hearts of men and women for some 2,000 years afterwards. Words that have echoed, a message that has echoed into the hearts. It's a message of hope and it's a message of peace the message of Jesus. See, that night an angel came to deliver a message that the world had been waiting to hear for 4,000 years. 4,000 years the earth had been, the people of the earth had been waiting. Ever since man sinned in the Garden of Eden, the world has been groaning under the weight that was brought about by that decision to sin. You know, back on that dark day, God made a promise. He promised to Adam and Eve that one, one day a woman would bear a son and that son would defeat the power of sin and the serpent. Genesis 3. See, the angel appeared that night to share some good news. God's promise was being fulfilled. 
Now, we, we heard in that passage of Scripture that as the angel continues to deliver this message, he tells the shepherds about the birth of a baby. And as he does, he gives the infant three names. He tells us that the baby will be the Saviour. tells us the baby will be the Messiah, the Christ. And he tells us that the baby is the Lord. And the Saviour, God sent the Saviour to save the world from our sin. He sent the Messiah, the Christ, the anointed one, fulfilling the Old Testament prophecy. He's the one that makes a way to restore and reconcile mankind to God. And the Lord, the sovereign Lord, the creator came to earth. The glory of God came to earth to dwell amongst us in a man's body. There's never been a message quite like this one. There will never be a message quite the same. A powerful, profound message that has echoed through time. See, this special baby, God in human flesh, it's what we're celebrating at this time of year, God in human flesh, the Messiah, the Christ, the Saviour, the King of Kings. He wasn't born in a palace. He was born in a smelly, noisy courtyard. There was no room in the overflowing inn. He wasn't wrapped in a piece of velvet like a prince. He was wrapped in the rags of a common man. So he willingly laid aside all the glories of heaven, stepped into our time, stepped into the time of man in the form of a humble servant. That's how much God loved us. He made himself poor so that we, through his poverty, could be made rich. Thank you, God, for that. He knew what it was to suffer. He knew what it, what it was to do without the finer things of life, to live each moment of time dependent on God, his Father, to provide for all of his needs. He did this so that he could actually identify with us, identify us, us who were broken, us who were poor in spirit. See, this is, this is what we celebrate at this time of year. His powerful love for us, sending Jesus. See, the grace that God has shown to us, the grace that God has shown to us in deep need, there is an amazing grace that God has shown through this message in Luke. God reveals to us, He reveals Himself, He reveals His presence, he reveals his angels, his angel armies, he reveals his presence to mankind. His message is delivered to a group of people. And we, we think about the group of people that it was delivered to. I've never really thought about this. I did some study and I was just like, this is a powerful moment in time. God didn't reveal himself to a king. God didn't reveal himself to someone of stature. He actually revealed himself to, to a group of people at the time by way of their duties, they were, they were shepherds. They were actually considered at the time as ceremonially unclean. They were dirty, hanging out with sheep. Hanging out with sheep. So this work actually, actually prevented them, by the job they did, it prevented them from actually going along to church. It was temple, as they called it in, the, in those days. So they had to go along to the temple to be cleansed because they were considered dirty. As a result, these people were considered the lowest of the low. Yet, it's these men that God chose to reveal himself to, reveal his presence to, reveal the fact that he sent the Saviour, the Christ, the Messiah. It's these men that received the message and the glad tidings and the message of peace from God first. What a picture of grace. What a picture of God's love. See, today and every day, this is a message that, that I cherish. It's a message I hope that you can cherish as well. Regardless of your past, remember, regardless of whether you're the lowest or the low, regardless of how far you've fallen, there's still a message of hope found in Jesus and it was delivered to us that day. The Lord the Lord God doesn't turn anyone away, but He invites everyone to come and meet with Him. He invites all to be saved by the grace of God. Regardless of our station, regardless of our stature in life, what we do, there is a place for all of us 
in the love of God. We have no need to let any sin or any situation stand between us and God, between us and heaven. I just want to encourage you again at this time of the year, it's been quite obvious in these scriptures that I've read, Jesus will not turn anybody away. He loves, he loves everybody so, so much that he sent Jesus. He came quietly. He came miraculously. He came humbly. He came willingly. He came to love. He came to heal and bring miracles. He came to serve. He came to redeem. He came to renew. He came to save. And he came for all. At this time of year, can I just encourage you? Know that in your heart. He came to save.